six pieces dress without dividing your measurements by six and i'm going to be listing out things we are going to achieve at the end of this video how you have to do is stay tuned don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so the first thing we are going to achieve is how to dress our princess that bustier how to dress our princess that bustier we are also going to achieve our six pieces dress without dividing our measurement by six and we are also going to achieve this princess that six pieces gown without having joining at the waistline because regularly people tend to have this joining at the waistline to differentiate your princess that from your six pieces gown but in today's video we are going to achieve that without having any joining at the waistline without dividing your measurement by six and also how to get your princess that bustier so this video is a whole package and don't forget to join us on facebook see designs and visit our website you guys we have amazing topics on our website you can check out our website read out topics with beautiful illustration i'm going to put down the detail at the description box and don't forget to join us for training both online training and physical training now what are the basic measurements required our shoulder measurements bust measurements waist hip and our gown length our shoulder measurements is 14 divided by 2 we have 7 our bust is 38 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 11 our waist is 32 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 10.5 our hip is 40 plus 2 divided by 4 plus 1 we have 11.5 our gown length is 62 plus 2 inches for our folding allowance we have 64 inches now look at this measurement carefully you will discover that we did not divide any of our measurements by six in as much as we want to achieve a six pieces dress we didn't divide any measurement by six and you can see that from this um measurement okay now first we are going to be just in our pattern before we move straight into the fabric and with me here i have my pattern paper i have my pattern paper and this pattern paper is about 60 inches long guys this pattern paper is about 60 inches long and is available at our store so let's say for topics where you require long length such as 60 inches and above 60 inches i recommend you have this pattern paper and it also comes in bundle so i'm going to put down the link of the pattern paper in the description box in case you want to get yours so now let's so guys I'm going to be using this white pattern paper to insert my gadget. So, this is what I have for my pattern paper. I'm going to go ahead and mark our basic measurements. And of course, because it's a gown, so we are going to start from here. So, this is our shoulder to arm o 9 inches, shoulder to under bust 14 inches. Shoulder to waist, 17 and a half. Waist to upper hip, 16 inch, 6 inches. Waist to lower hip, 8 inches. Waist to our knee, 17 inches. Now, these are just basic measurements, okay? So, if you want me to make a video on how to achieve your basic measurements, you can just put down down in the comment section. So, I'm going to go ahead and mark this six inches eight inches 17 inches so once i'm done with that i will go in with my pattern master and connect the lines together the lines the next thing we are going to do is to go ahead and label it because it's very important to label your pattern mark my dart measurement which is four inches mark my dart measurement which is four inches now i'll go in with my pattern master and connect the lines together after that on my waistline i'm going to go ahead and mark half inch on both sides so i'll connect it together and i'll connect it to my upper hip 
Now, I'm going to extend this, my dart line, up to my shoulder measurement. Extend your dart line. That is this dart line here, up to your shoulder measurement. So, at my shoulder line, I'll mark, it varies from 5 inches to 5 and a half inches. It depends on how you want your bustier effect to come up. So I'm going to make use of five and a half inches. So I will connect my five and a half inches to my bust point. So this is what we are going to have, right? Now on the under bust line, on our under bust line, mark half inch on both sides. You can mark three quarter. It depends on how you want it to be. So mark it on both sides. Now go in with your pattern master and connect it together. Now this pattern master, I recommend everyone should get it and is available at our store and it comes in a set. So I will use this curved part of my pattern master to connect it to my waistline. So this is what it's going to look like. Now the next thing I'm going to go ahead is to close my shoulder dart. I'll close it this way. By the time you close it, you can see your pattern paper automatically pops up at the bust region. This shows the effect of your bustier already, okay? So I'll just go ahead and close this down. Now I'll show that that is closed before you mark your seven inches for your shoulder measurement. So on, let me open it so you guys can see it clearly. So on the bust line, we'll mark our bust measurement, which is 11 inches. On the waistline, we'll mark our waist measurement, which is 10.5. Now, mark your hip measurement at your lower hip. The essence of this upper hip is just to indicate where your dart line should end. Now, on my lower hip, I'll mark my hip measurement, which is 11.5. Now, on the knee length, going to determine how many inches we want to take away. So, we marked 11 inches on our hip line. So we are going to deduct between one and a half to two inches or one inch. It depends on how pencil you want it to be. So for me, I'm going to deduct two inches. So I have nine inches. So I will extend this nine inches up to my gown length. You can go in with my arm o curve, which comes in our set. And I'll connect my shoulder line to my bust line. I'm done with that. I'll connect my bust line to my waistline my waist to my hip and my hip up to this gown length for the front block. Now because it is princess that we want to achieve our princess that how you, the, what you are going to do is to measure what you have in our arm o, which is let me zoom it in. So to determine what you have for your princess that our arm o is nine inches divide your arm o by two you have four and half now your four and half come down with half inch so you have five inches so we have nine i'll just mark five inches now i will connect this five inches to this point okay connect it to this point now the best way to achieve that you can either close your your shoulder that or you can go ahead and open it it depends on what you want to achieve it depends on connecting this point to this area so by the time you close it this way you can see that it's connected to your boss point so you just so once you're done with that it is always very necessary to label your pattern so now we are going to determine what type of neckline you want it to have what kind of neckline so i want a v neckline and the wideness of the neckline just varies on what and so i'm going to make use of three inches and for the deepness i will make use of six 
inches and of course i want to so i'll just connect this this way then i'll this is what we are going to have at first we are not true yet so i'll set that aside that is the line we used for the front block so the first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our zip allowance so i'm going to make use of one inch for my zip allowance after that the next thing we are going to do now is to achieve our dart line i'll mark four inches four inches for my dart the waistline i will mark half inch on both sides i will connect it together once we are done this is what it looks like now we'll just mark our basic measurement because for the back block we don't have bustier effect so our shoulder is seven inches i started marking it after the zip line my bust is 11 inches our waist is 10.5 our hip is 11.5 on our knee length in the front block we made use of nine inches so we are still going to maintain that and curve and connect our bust line to our shoulder line to give us the arm o to give us our arm o waist to hip and hip to our gown length the next thing we're also going to do now is to mark one inch for our shoulder slope and for the wideness of the neckline, I'm going to make it of three inches. And for the deepness, I'm going to make it of round curve. And I will connect my shoulder slope. So this is what that. So we check what we have for our arm O, nine inches. Divided by two, we have four and a half. Come down with half inch, we have five. So this is where we have five. So connect this your five to your dart line this way. So you connect it to your dart line. Then we go ahead and open this up. You've been able to understand how to achieve the princess dart, and you can see that we didn't have any joining at the waistline. So the next thing we also want to do now is to achieve our six pieces effect we have for the front block. I'm going to set this side aside. And we are going to start with our center front. So I will take my pattern paper from my knee length to my. I will take my pattern paper from slides all through, and it's very so you can use five, five and a half, seven, eight. It just depends on the effect you want to achieve. So let me use seven inches. So this is our seven inches now i'm going to connect these seven inches to our knee length so we can also achieve this six pieces dress in form of off shoulder okay we can achieve that in form of off shoulder so if you want me to make a video on how to achieve it in form of off shoulder, my seven inches to my knee length now the next thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and cut this out this is what i'm going to have i will also place this this way go ahead and tape this down at our seven inches seven inches so we'll extend this seven inches to our knee length So this is what we are going to have for one block so i've set that aside we are going to mark our seven inches so i'll go ahead and cut this out tape this to the other side i will extend it to our knee length ahead to extend the line now we'll cut this out 
you are going to have at the end of it so you have your panel for your six pieces skirt on the lower block and we have our princess that bustier at the upper side of it pattern paper so we we'll also mark seven inches so we we'll connect these seven inches to the knee length So we'll also attach this to the other side and we'll tape this so this is seven inches we'll connect these seven inches up to the knee length you can see that we started we have seven we will connect these seven inches to the knee length cut this out so you can see that at this center back where we have our zip allowance our pattern paper is automatically longer than the pattern paper wants to at attach is automatically longer than the initial pattern paper so the inches so I have about six inches it simply means that my tail effect is going to be about six inches so you can increase yours or you can reduce it it depends on what you want to achieve at the end of it so at this longer part I will mark seven inches now I will now extend this seven inches to our knee length and because this our gadget is longer we are going to have that dropping tail at the back of the six per six gown so i guess you've learned a lot you can see this extra tail at the back we to be using this beautiful african print and african prints are available at our store you can see this beautiful print it has form of flowers this uh, center front now when you are cutting the center front make sure that this edge of your pattern paper sticks to the edge of your fabric because you're not going to have like pieces for this center front so you make sure you so after cutting it out this is what you are going to have one piece we we'll set that aside now side of the front block we fold your fabric into four into two and then we'll go ahead and place this because we are going to achieve two pieces for this side block so we'll go ahead and place it this way so after cutting it out that bustier without having any joining a neckline and we did not divide our measurement by six so i hope you can see that having four pieces for the back block but it is actually six pieces we want to achieve so the reason why we are going to have four pieces is because of our zip which is usually at the back block so you fold your fabric into two place one panel of your back block and then you go ahead and for the so for the middle back where we have our long panel we we'll also fold our fabric into two place your pattern on it and then so for that back block where we want to have that tail you can see the way we curved it so that we can have that tail for that middle back block that will drop as a tail of course our pattern paper was longer than the initial one but when you place it on the fabric you give it this curved shape so that you can have that curve effect at the back side so this is what we are going to have for the back block like i said the back block is of our back block so for the back block we have one two three four but this is actually three pieces by the time you're fixing your zip here we are going to have three pieces in i've gone ahead to fold it into two and for this center front of the front block is at this edge and i placed the other panel for the front so i'll go ahead and cut this out 
I'll go ahead and do that for the front block we also have two pieces for the sides and for the center front we also have our lining in form of center front so I'll go ahead and set the front aside set the front aside so I'll play by the time you place your fabric this way one side you can see the panel is facing this part and for the other side the panel faces this other part it helps you to maximize like make use of your lining so well so I'll go ahead and cut this out so so I'll go ahead so after cutting out our lining for both the front and the back block the next thing we are going to do is to go ahead and cut our wording so the best way to cut it is just to fold it into two this way and fold it into four so i'm going to be using this to pad the bust area i don't know if you guys can see this is the soft wording so what i did is that i cut I cut out four pieces and for this wording we have the so for the back block you can see that we have four pieces one two three four and this is where we have our zip allowance so the first thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and join one side to one part of the zip allowance so we are going to join one part to one part of the zip allowance now what i mean is this when you want to sew it you are starting from this side which is in, um where we have our gown length and you are going to stitch it all the way up so we attach that together and for this other part also we will also attach one of the side to where we have our zip allowance and of course we are going to start so after so after stitching it this is what we are going to have so we are going to have two pieces now why attaching it together why you want to couple it together we are going to go ahead with our wording because it has princess that bustier so this shiny part of our wording we attach it or iron it to this side and that is why we cut out four pieces so we iron it to your bust point to your under bust so you iron it this way we place it this way iron it place it this way and iron it so this is what we will have by the time you are done ironing this is what you will have so you now go ahead and couple this part together all the way down and couple this other part together all the way down so by the time i'm done with that i'll show you guys what it looks like so after joining it together you can see this is what we have and you can see the effect of the bustier at this part and for the back like when you turn it to the back you can see your bustier and we have one we have three pieces this way so we'll go ahead and couple up the lining the same way we did for the fabric so once i'm done with that i'll show you guys what the lining looks like so after joining our lining this way you can see we have one piece for the lining so we'll go ahead and place our lining this way so once we place our lining we will stitch stitch the two sides so if you want yours to have a sleeve then you will leave the sleeve area but if you want yours to be sleeveless then you go ahead and 
you go ahead and stitch the sleeve the arm o stitch it also for our lining we also have two pieces i've gone ahead to couple the lining up so what we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead for the back block we'll go ahead and stitch the neckline stitch the sides and also stitch where we have our zip allowance so once i'm done with that the only part you are not going to stitch is the lower side and that is where you are going to use to turn it out so once i'm done with that i'll show you guys what it looks like so after turning it with lining this is what you have for the back block you can see and this is how it looks inside so we just use the lining to turn it and for the front block you have a single piece and then you can see how the back looks like so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and fix in our zip is to go ahead and fix in our zip at this back block and then we stitch so after fixing the zip you now have a single piece for the back block and we have a single piece for the front block so we'll go ahead and use your measurements okay use the measurements and take the body so i'll go ahead mark my measurements stitch here all the way down stitch it all the way down and also join the shoulders together if you want yours to have sleeve but this is what it looks like our six pieces with princess darts so you can see our princess darts curve going this way and you can see our six pieces and there is no joining on the waistline and we're able to achieve this 